We're gonna learn about cricket, but do you wanna know a little something about America? Here's a little secret. The Yankees suck. Red Sox. <laughs>our stupid reactions the idiots i'm corbin as with me as always is this idiot with the hat named rick take me out to the ball game if you're new to our channel go and smash the like button subscribe take and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad please follow us on our various social media platforms instagram and twitter Today, we'll be reacting to a video that some of you have requested, but it's kind of we want to learn we a did. little more. We watched a, uh, a trailer for uh, MS, MS Donnie. Donnie. Yep. Uh, I'll link that right here. <gasps> How does he do it? I know. Every time. I'm a magic man. Uh, Seth? Mother? <laughs> Sorry, my mother's in the other room sniffing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it's called <laughs> Cricket for Americans. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna explain a little more about cricket because we are interested, because I don't know hardly anything. I know I've seen a couple videos. And right. All that kind of stuff, but I know I don't know the rules. No, we don't know the rules. So. And we both love baseball, and we know baseball comes from cricket, and cricket's in a national story. We know that it's more no. popular we, than baseball. We wanna learn. We wanna learn, because we also wanna see MS Donnie, the film, and review it, and we wanna know the sport so that we know what the heck is going so, on. So if you want to explain stuff to us, let us know in the comment section below. Because we wanna be less stupider. So you want to know about cricket? Yes. Great. It's an excellent sport enjoyed by billions of people all over the world. And the rules are not at all confusing. Look at Susan. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty. <laughs> That's a <laughs> get back, down the end before Chanda Pool can turn and get back. He beats him back, Chanda Pool is out. Please touch the bat first. Please have no fear. Then. We're in this together and we'll have you knowledge. Oh, I thought this was the explanation. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's get one thing out of the way. Despite the shared batting of pitch balls... Red Sox! Yankees, Red Sox! That was Yankees! Red Sox! The sport has very little in common with baseball. Sorry to disappoint, Americans. Still, though, we use America's pastime as the starting reference point for convenience sake. Because, well, it's awesome, and the two do have some things in common. In baseball, the game is played within the confines of boundaries that determine whether a hit ball is fair or foul. But those don't exist in cricket. Instead, the entirety of the field is in play. Whoa. A cricket field is made up of a large grass oval with a 66 foot long playing area, or pitch, in the middle. Applied to baseball, this setup would have made Carlton Fisk's home run a lot less memorable. No dramatic waving declaring the ball fair at all. <laughs> Set up both ends of the pitch, the part in the middle, are what are known as wickets. Wickets are made up of three wooden poles called stumps, which are hammered into the ground and connected on top by two horizontal wooden pieces called bales. Among other things, the wickets are the bowlers, think pitchers, target, but we'll talk more about wickets later. Cricket teams are made up of 11 players. All 11 play the field and all, all right, 11 football. bat most of the time. While cricket has innings, technically, they're very different from the sets of nine innings that most Americans are used to watching. In most types of cricket matches, the type you're most likely to catch on TV at least, the teams bat only once. That's it, two innings, one time through the batting order each for all the marbles. Oh, wow. But there's a catch, pun intended. Two batters are essentially up at any given time. What? And each batter, or batsman in cricket ease, continues to hit until they're out. How do batsmen get out? Good question. There are a few different ways. First, if the bowler, again, the pitcher, is able to knock down either a stump or bail on a bold ball. That is very good. Huh. Oh, wow. The batter's strike zone is anywhere within their reach. If the ball is pitched beyond the batter's reach or behind the batter in his natural stance at the wicket, then the pitch is deemed wide, think like a ball in baseball, and the batting side is given an extra run. This ensures the fielding team bowls towards the batter and is not just chucking the ball in his general direction in order to get through the set number of overs. We'll explain overs in a minute. Second, a batsman is out if a hit ball is caught in the air by the opposing team. Understand that. Should be out. The third way a hitting batsman can get out is where that second batsman comes into play and where cricket gets excited. While one batter, the striking batsman, is being bowled to, the other batter, the non-striking batsman, stands by the wicket on the opposite side of the pitch. Each time the ball is put into play or hit, both batsmen run to the opposite side of the pitch as many times as possible. Each time they both do so successfully, it's a run. 
If the fielding team is able to throw the ball at the wicket, knocking down a stump or bale, or if it's thrown into the wicket keeper or bowler, who then does the same, before that batsman makes it back to the end the ball was thrown to, then he is out. Now yes, that all sounds very technical, but it essentially boils down to throwing a ball at a stick to get a guy out. Four ball quick, hit him up. Oh, it's out. Yeah, as we said up top, this game is exciting. There are even home runs and grand slams. If the striking batsman really puts a charge into the ball, sending it past the outer boundaries of the oval in the air, it's called a six, good for six automatic runs. If the ball hits the ground before bouncing over the barrier, it's a four, which, you guessed it, is good for four runs. This run scoring continues through the striking team's batting order, with the field of play flipping and the bowler changing after six bold balls. In cricket terms, that batch of six is called an over. In most one-day matches, a cap of 50 overs is placed on each team, meaning essentially an upper limit of 300 bowls per inning. When a team hits that cap, no matter where they are in their batting order or with their run total, that inning is closed. In addition to reaching the set limit of overs, an inning can also end with 10 of the team's 11 batsmen eventually being retired. And the game will end if the second striking team scores enough runs to reach or beat the first team's score. The second team is essentially chasing the first team score their entire inning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is cricket. You now know enough to take in all the cricketing action your heart desires without feeling like a complete novice. Pretty cool, right? What a break. Yes? No? Well, hopefully that's an affirmative. But if this is all still too confusing for you, just remember, there's always baseball. A simple game that hinges on a human umpire's arbitrary, often inexplicable calls. <laughs> set of unspoken rules of the game. Yeah, that's true. Fun, tar, and, and somehow, even more nuanced really Martin. interpretation that it's distant British cousin. Dominguez has a run down going on. Much easier to follow. Yeah. All right, okay, so uh, it's a very confusing game. It is, uh, but let me tell you something. It's not, if you know all the insides yeah. and nuances of baseball, baseball is very complex. Yeah. So, yeah. But obviously not as complex as cricket. <laughs> yeah. Someone, uh, someone said in the comments said, said cricket, no, no baseball, baseball, no cricket minus, minus brains, brains equals baseball, baseball, which is why we like baseball. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're stupid. Which was a funny comment, but why it, is it? But see, you hit it there, it's four runs. I mean, you hit it there, it's six runs. You, you hit it there, it's twenty if, runs. If you don't know anything about a certain sport, it's obviously going to be confusing to you. It's true, no matter what the sport. Not is. Not golf. Like if you if you're from uh, another country and. You've never heard of football. Oh, forget it. No, like, why do you throw it with your hands? Why do you, oh, why, can, why can one person hold it? Why can not? It takes years so, to understand that game. So, um, obviously, I understand that it's... It, I'm still very confused. Tennis is pretty simple. But from what I think, uh, you hit the ball, and then you can run back and forth and get some runs. So it's right. like, what are those called? Like, um, in exercising, what are they called? Like Sprints. Sprint, like just... Yeah. I thought there was a more technical name for it. Yeah. But, like, you do a couple sprints. Right. And the more, the faster. Obviously, you need speed. And Before somebody can hit those little things. And everything's in play. So they're like, Yeah, that's crazy. There's no foul balls? So, like, if you... No, no, no. If it was thrown at you and you hit it and it went backwards and went over the fence, that's a home run? I think so. Wow. Which... How can you get rewarded for having not even hit it right? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're probably not... Saying it correctly. Oh, I'm sure we're not. <laughs> and they'll, they, you'll let us know, I'm oh, sure. Oh, I know you'll let us know. <laughs> you'll send us links to what we should be watching. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'd be interested, is, is there certain, like, is there a certain plays we should, like a YouTube compilation of plays we should watch, or yeah. if there's a game we should How react to? How long does a to? game last? If you've only got two innings and you just go through those guys hitting, no, but they could last, like, it could last a long, long time. And apparently they have day, a couple days matches sometimes from what I got from the video. It looks like the game will be over in 45 minutes. No, I think it's going to last a long time. And can you strike a guy out? Uh, and what? what do you do if you hit the guy? The hit batsman. Does he get a base? What base? He doesn't go to a base. <laughs> There's no base to go to. Does he walk back out and he becomes the other batsman? I, with think, the other it, I think it's one of those foul uh, or the ball type things. And why does the other guy have a bat? He's not hitting anymore. Um, but He's using it to touch the other side of the thing? Yes. He's the runner-up, but they also have an opportunity to score. And if everything's in play, the other guy that's coming up, is he off the field and he takes that long walk to come up there, or is he like in the way, standing yeah, over about there? about baseball. It's no, I'm wondering where the other, if the whole team hits, where are they coming from? Do they have a dugout? Probably, I'd assume so. They have to sit somewhere. <laughs> 
obviously a sport that we've never seen before is going to be confusing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Australian rules football. Oh, yeah. That one's crazy. I'll never understand that sport. <laughs> so please let us know if there's other cricket videos we should watch. Uh, and other things like that so we can understand or react to if it's like a cool different kind of play Yeah, all see this was stuff. this was cricket for Americans. We need cricket for idiots. Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Send us that video <laughs> <We need> that. <laughs>